Harry, it was great having you and Joanna at uh, the Old Edwards Club in Highlands the last few days. And your progress continues to amaze me as we look through the swings right here. The um, swing on the right is your most recent, and the swing on the left is from 2010 at Kirlin. And you can see the the dramatic changes both in the club face and the way that your body works through the ball. And it continues to improve on a daily basis. Look at the difference in the two club faces, totally shut on the left. And we determine that the root cause of the problem is the fact that you always used to hold the club face open through impact. You never really released it. And that could be from uh, not playing a lot of sports when you were younger, not, not a lot of throwing, not a lot of tennis, things like that that come so natural to some people. You can see as I back this up right to here, you can see that the club face on the left is closed and under plane, and the club face on the right is much more on plane and more square. And as a result, you can release the club through the ball. Or we could turn that around the other way. The fact that you are now releasing it better at the bottom allows you to get the club more on plane and the club face more square coming down. A lot of times one uh, end of the swing feeds the other. And a lot of times you have to look for things along the chain reaction that might affect things in the beginning. The, um, the drills that helped us the most, this was one of my, my favorite, and the one that you need to continue to do, this was a rehearsal. You did a little rehearsal first where you can see that you really straighten the right leg out as you bring the golf club down, which puts you in a much sharper posture as you're coming to the ball. And then here was the actual swing. And these are the little drills that you need to be doing. This is your go-to move that would allow you to neutralize your swing. And as you look at your, your posture right there through impact, that sure is a lot different than this one where you can see the legs are, are really sagging as you go through in an effort to hold the club face open through impact. And we did a number of drills to, to help facilitate that. One was, here's your left arm. Taking the club back again, it feels a little bit shut to you right here. And we'll show you again in the right-handed swing. You can see at the top, now the club tends to come down and the face is much more stable all the way through the shot. We also did the same thing right-handed. Again, palm down right here. We did the same thing throwing and the same move when we were trying to simulate a tennis topspin shot. And you can see that brings the club right down the, the plane with a beautiful release. I think we even did another one where we tried to keep the club even more out. But that looks similar to the one before. Also very good. And even this face-on shot, you can see as you go back, again, what feels palm down and then loading the club coming down while the legs support you down below. We've got the original swing again from face on, and you can see the closed club face at the top and the shallowing, sagging leg motion going through to hold the face open through the shot. And we've talked before about how the glove 
of your left hand at this point in the swing should not be above your right arm. We should be getting more release at that point. And this swing on the right, you can see the right arm is releasing the club and your whole right side of your body would then release and post up on the left leg as we come back to to impact right there and same thing on the left you can see the difference in the leg motion all the way through the shot so again this little swing right here is the one I want you to really focus on and doing this little exaggerated rehearsal where the club goes back outside palm down and then it flattens just like a tennis player just like a baseball player just like somebody throwing with the right leg holding in position and then the same thing right here when you when you hit a shot that's tremendous Harry, again, it's a pleasure working with you. Your passion for the game and, and learning is unparalleled, and you make it exciting for me to be an instructor. I look forward to the next time we get together, my good friend. Talk to you later. See you.